Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for the next installment of an LPAC Laws map. That's right, we are going to do LPAC uh, Threads 1. There is 2 and 3, which I have not done, so I figured start with the first. These are the last of the Laws maps, although they will be more. Uh, Laws did mention. Uh, trying out some more unique map designs. Third time's a charm, I guess. Have fun. One thing I do also want to point out is Lols does have a YouTube channel uh, with a video on it on how to make LPAX uh, and how uh, they do it. So please do check that out. I will try and have that link in the description as well. Uh, Master, we have found them. They're hiding out on Mud World. Hmm, they seem to have fortified this tunnel structure, but foolishly forgotten to reinforce their supply lines. From my calculations, there aren't even as strong as two Ron Weasleys. Should be over in no time, right boss? I hope I got room for dessert. Trying to uh, trying some takes on a more a vertical map layout with intersecting paths meant for creeper access. More may follow. This gets a lot of likes. Uh, there we go. And there are more maps to follow. Uh, don't forget about eggs in the void. Holy moly. And look at this map. Here we go. What do we have here? We have the path of destiny. Holy moly. We have the path of destiny. And yeah, this is, uh, this is quite a vertical uh, path. Uh, horizontal from this perspective, but now it's vertical. Holy moly, it's just that easy to shift your perception. Um, we are, we have a egg, you know, a boost. We're gonna start with our little, old baby meta right here. Um, and yeah, I guess the goal will be, we will try and take the path of destiny. However, we'll just see what happens. We are gonna spend a lot of boosts on our emitters. Uh, I don't think like this blob right away. Maybe later on we'll go with blobs, but right away it's not really the best to go with blobs uh, just because anything that they destroy for the most part, you're not gonna be able to hold too well until you get enough creep backing it and such and such and such. Uh, but let's start with the path of destiny, right? Let's let's start by going that way um, because you know what? It's, it's, it's the path, right? It's the chosen way to go. Maybe it's not the best, maybe we should take over like to here first and then go for the path of destiny because we are gonna be sending most of our creep along the path not exactly the best of but hey if i made the best decisions you know it would be a little bit less fun to me at least you know it's not all about the best decisions it's about just having a good time and that being said we can uh, we can alter we can alter things we can make things our own do things certain ways like this path we'll easily be able to crush like one cannon i don't know how it's going to do against twosies um but we're probably not producing enough creep right now for like a triple plus a quadruple, plus those and those. Like, we definitely have some problems on our side. Let's put it like that. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, because we will get there, right? So what else are we going to do? Well, we are letting this spread. I'm on two times speed. I'll keep it at two times speed. It looks pretty good. We're gaining, we're gaining resources at a pretty ready rate. Um, what are the goals, right? So obviously the goal is we are going to take the entire path. That's goal number one. Um, with that, let it be so. Boom, get... Ooh, so let it be so. Yeah, rock. Make sure our earned units are rock targets, of course. Buzzinga, let it be so. Uh, that's what we want to see. Uh, earned units always going down. Ooh, we're even taking out the double, no problem. So we're going to be able to get up there pretty, pretty well. Uh, and then we need to decide, how are we going to deal with this, right? These platforms, super easy to take down. Probably like three eggs. So I guess easy is in the eye of the beholder, right? But the question is, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? What is our objectivo? Um, and I think we do want to take over this entire place. We have... One way I thought of actually playing this was never actually doing anything other than the Path of Destiny, where we just sort of let whatever creep flows out, flow out, and we only focus on moving the path. And that, I think, is doable to an extent. I don't know if you can beat it, but seems kind of interesting it's definitely a way that i was intrigued to play uh but we're not gonna do that this time we're gonna actually we're gonna play the map we're gonna make it ours you know we're gonna do some good stuff <laughs> i hope i hope we're gonna do some good stuff uh let us see though let us see so what is our goal again i want to destroy this eventually right we do want to get there we i mean we have 15 eggs we can start there i'm the only reason i'm afraid to drop some eggs here is if this starts firing and this starts breeding that's gonna hinder us pretty bad 
Um, so I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Now over here, this is spreading. Uh, again, not too shabby, not too shabby. But what I want to do right now is actually divert the path of destiny. And I feel a little bit bad in diverting its destiny, you know. But sometimes, sometimes for the greater good, we need that diversion. Uh, and we are going to do that with some mesh. That's right. We are going to do that with some mesh. It's going to be in the void. Oh my, oh my. Pop them all. Feels pretty good. Okay, there we go. Get them all connected. Don't have the best connection on the left side, which is a shame. That's okay. That's okay. Um, what we can do... Hmm, do we want to? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to just yet. I just want to make sure these connections on the right side are there. So, do we have terrible connections on the right side too? Do we only have that one? Is that our only connection or more, will more spawn? Uh, I think we might get some more once we get some more creep over here. But here we go. So now we're, we're sort of assaulting a little bit on both sides now, right? That's a little gross. Like, the connection point on this side is terrible right which we can kind of fix if we destroy this mesh and then rebuild it it's not the easiest to do it's kind of frustrating again I, this is the one thing that annoys me with voiding is like we we're missing right there we're missing some right there we really don't have very many connections and it takes an egg essentially to fix anything but watch this so I'll, I'll do an egg example here i want i want this to be a solid path so let's do that let's keep meshing we got a chunk of it, but we did, couldn't get all of it because the rest of it just went instantly into the into the mesh. Um, now that chunk is actually quite substantial for us, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's uh, let's drop this eggy rot dire. Oh, it got blasted, which is both good. There we go. So we got a bit more of a connection there. That should definitely help this flow. And now we're actually going to be pushing on this on both sides, right? So now we have two sides going for this, which is very good for business. Um, ooh, I also have ooh, four more upgrades. That's going to be huge, 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 huge. And I'm actually going to expand the mesh a little bit because this is going to start pooping out more and more creep. It's going to go higher and higher and wider and wider. So I want a wider berth to go into the mesh. Um, over here, they are pushing this back pretty well. Our goal will be to take this, take out the planes, push up here, and take out this, right? We're, we're in a pretty good spot to do all that. Over here, the blob's nest is uh, free, which is nice. Again, not super helpful yet, but we are still in the pushing, we don't have that much creep to our name phase. So the question is, do we start with this or up here? Now, up here, I think, is the better choice. Uh, I want to come from both sides, get it ours, and maybe get to, like, here, and then ride the wave this way. Because these planes are going to just really shut this down with the AC. If this starts, we're in big trouble. If this starts, we can, we can work around that, right? So I think we are going to get started up over here. So if we do something like that, and that, and maybe a third. Bazinga. That one is destroyed, which turned some of these around, got us some movement over there, which is very, very nice. Uh, and now we have some AC up here. So this is the problem that we now have to just start working on. And I'm going to get rid of a rock here and a rock there. Uh, just to sort of cut this off, keep the AC from breeding too, too much. Uh, there we go. Keep a couple eggs. We want that breeding for us, not for them. Not for them. That is the key. Uh, whoop. Keep that ours, because breeding cycle is now, so that is now breeding for us, which is awesome. Again, not like the be-all, end-all or anything like that. But because we did that, we're able to destroy that easily. We'll even try and disrupt this a little bit. I'll get rid of the last one. Uh... Because now everything should sort of start to fall there, which is very, very good. The creep is starting to flow out more and more, and this is now filled in. So, good news for us. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Feels pretty good, if you ask me. And now we can start to potentially come out. So, do we have any earned units other than, say, that one? That one? I think this is really it for earned units. We definitely want this destroyed. Unfortunately... Mortars are low priority, so if we were to say mortar here, it would take out one, two, three. Uh, we would take out... This might be the third from here. Mortaring there might be decent. Uh, or rocking there might be decent. So let's... let's just, uh, oh, we don't even have creep over there. What am I thinking? So let us actually start to just spread some creep around. Right? Let's get rid of these planes. They're annoying me already. Uh, buzzing. So hopefully hopefully cause some strife 
uh, for them. And if we were to go with a rock, we can now just rock there and rock there and boom, a mortar unit gone, which is actually pretty substantial for us as well. Uh, get out of here. No one likes that platform. Uh, feels pretty good though, feels pretty good. Uh, we do have some creep hitting the breeder up there, which is nice. That's not our main goal at the moment, but it is nice that it's a little bit of a distraction. So I want to say it's a strain on their economy. Their economy is not strained in the slightest, of course. The bigger thing is we have actually officially connected this up, which should, again, indeed help the flow. Uh, and we're actually making some pretty good progress over here. The creep is actually strong enough that it's just going to push this out. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about egging that. Uh, but as this moves up, we're going to start to put the squeeze play on, right? There's no more planes. We're almost to this pylon, which is great. This is just breeding naturally, so I guess we could sort of do something like that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just we're just taking stuff out. It feels pretty good. feels pretty good. Uh, we, I mean, do I even want... I'm, I was going to say, do I want air sacs? And the answer is, it, it's not whether I want them or not. I mean, we are going to get them. Um, so that's fine. We are going to drop two eggs, two rocks here for these two cannons. And let's just eggify this, right? Let's get this egged up. Let's make this breeding for us in about, I don't know, six seconds or so. Uh, once it's about like 27, I would say, because there's snipers here. Oop, there we go. Boom. <laughs> Times two, way, way faster for me. So we'll just do like four like that. Buzzinga. And... Bam. Now this is breeding. Even if the sprayer is there, we got a whole butt ton of creep. Uh, sprayer will die. We'll leave some AC. But I think we should have enough creep here that the AC will not win out. Boom. The AC is gone. No threat of AC now. And that's actually the biggest thing. We cut these off. No more uh, disruption down there. We're gained all of this, which is, again, awesome. It's now breeding right into our meshy, meshy pads. And yeah, I mean, we are just making some pretty good progress. This should get us the air sack as well, which I am gonna put one point in. One point in the air sack is my favorite upgrade in the game, to be fair. Uh, so that is that is an honest thing. So I am gonna do that, and we can even girth up this mesh a bit. We can start, actually, maybe we'll do this. We'll, we'll right around the bottom, of course, get this. So it's now feeding into the mesh. And I guess we are to the point where we can think about connecting the mesh around. So we are at that stage. Um, so I am going to go one, just right on through. Don't mind me. We're just coming this way. And then we'll connect up and then our mesh, mesh will just be a pathway. Um, and that feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. As you can see, we're, you know, putting putting the herd on both sides. You know, we're just we're just taking them out. There's There's not much that they can do at this point. Uh, power-wise, how are they looking power-wise to here? So, it looks like they have power coming in from both sides and connecting. So, first instance, I was thinking, if we take this out, we would have to take out this. If we take this out and this, this whole side dies. But, eh, we're just sort of letting the creep do its thing. Uh, we want to save up a few more eggitudes so we can uh, make our progress, right? We want to keep making that progress. Uh, I don't know where the next uh, unit is. It's, oh, it's right there. It's a spore launcher. Uh, gross. Uh, I, wa I want my friendos. Where are my friendos? Holy moly, they are all the way up there. Skimmers? Skimmers are a ways away. And I... I'm okay with that. It is what it is. It's not like... You know, skimmers are strong. I like skimmers. So... <laughs> that explains that. And here we go. As you can see, we are meshing up around this. So whenever this pops out its creep, it'll go directly into the mesh. Um, I guess what I should also do is, since we have this mesh path, I'll make a little little pylon path up there. You know, just, just to allow it to flow smoother. Now that all this is done, I think I'm going to get rid of this void mesh down here. Because it's sort of blah and not really useful. So, goodbye void mesh. You, you had your life. You did good. Uh, you were there when we needed you, but we don't anymore. Uh, thank you so very much. I uh, appreciate all you've done for us. Uh, maybe a little bit of that can climb up some of these and kill those just so they're dead. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, good. Look at that. Bloop. You're done. Oh, sir. You're done, too. Yay. Uh, feeling, feeling a little bit better now. Feeling a little bit better. I like I like the fact that we were able to kill at least two of those. That's just, that's just fun. Um, wish we could kill the third, but that's okay. That's okay. 
Um, do we want blobs? Again, still, our creep is still moving. Um, we can actually connect up our mesh tubes, which is good. So now we have the full mesh path all the way around, which is good. Um, we have we have our air sacs, which is a thing. Uh, uh, again, ooh, and we have a stash. We definitely want to connect into the stash. We definitely want to connect up here. But again, as you can see, I mean, the, the creep is pushing. I mean, the path of destiny is moving along. And this is the key. I don't want to move too far away from the path of destiny. Right? This is this is our chosen way to go, and we will we will keep it going, of course. Um, so yes, the path of destiny is the most important part. So let's make sure that the path is fine. Um, I'm, what I'm thinking is maybe around here we do another cut over, so we can sort of cut this off, cut this off, and work our way back down. Uh, that might be pretty good because that gives us a you know we're, again we're using our path to make these destiny destiny decisions. Ooh, and there is the stash. Now stashes work so much better in mesh. So we're just gonna come on out, bloop, and make a nice little arch there. Like it's it's a pylon, right? You know, again like we can use it as a pylon, bring it on over. It's gorgeous. Plus this will be making way more creep because it's in the mesh. You know, it tend, it does do that, which is actually very, very nice of it. Um, over here this rock should be triggered very, very soon, and if not, this is, again, the area where I kind of wanted to do the meshing anyway to come over here, because that's, uh, this breeder zone is right there, so if we come over right here, take out this one cannon, you know, yeah, we have to deal with these three, we have to deal with those eventually, but for now, we have some pretty, pretty good things. So, let's do something like this. It's close to the side because I'm afraid that these are all going to shoot it down and stuff, so that is why I have that. Um, but let's just do wee, wee, lots of mesh and lots of connections. And that's the more important thing, right? All of these I want to be connection zones. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, one important thing as well that we have not done, I suppose, is the, is the way to put it. Um, we have not... Uh, triggered any AC, right? Look at the map. It's completely clear of AC. We have not triggered any. I mean, we have triggered some, but we've controlled it. Controlled AC is the way to go. Um, and this should be the rest of our connections, right? We want this to be connected down here. Connect up all of this. Get it all good. Connect this entire side up. Uh, one more, just like right here. I don't know if all that's connected. I don't know. I'm not taking the chance. Uh, I want a good connection for this girthy, girthy mesh. Uh, and I think I think we have a pretty good one. I think we need some more creep on land, but I think we have a pretty good. As you can see, this connection down here, quite nice. So all the creep that's flown up can flip this one, which is grand. Uh, so it be so. Uh, boom. Rock the earned one, of course. Grab that. Put... Bloop. Five more over here. Oh, mice as well. And as you can see, this is coming in. This is coming up. We're going to be able to start to distract the front side with the back side. And then they'll be able to connect up as well. Um, of course, we have a nice little breeding zone right here. So let's get that going. And we'll come over the top of this side. Over here, I don't really care about this area. Uh, I don't care about this little mesh pathway. I mean, we're kind of just coming in this side. And then we're going to move up and surround them that way. So this is uh, not necessary. I see it as a nice taking point. You could definitely make some more mesh pathways to come up and things of that nature. Also, early on, you could have just meshed up this way, which is probably better. I mean, to be fair, the path of destiny is terrible because it's so thin. It's so thin, it's actually not a good path of destiny, but it is our path of destiny that we were provided and I will use our provisions. Um, so let's just wait for a few seconds because it's about time. It's about time. 20. There we go. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to do some egging over here, right? We're just going to do a wee little bit, you know, something something like this. We definitely want a couple eggs in the breedable zone. Yes, yes, yes. This will be destroyed by rocketudes. Uh, and, yeah, I think I think this should be pretty good. Uh, just spread it around. We should be able to kill most of these towers with this amount of creep. Also, cut off a lot of power to this area, which is also very, very good. And this should allow our mesh in. This, we got some breeding, which is good. That was the key. Uh, we were using the breeding cycle as well. Uh, yeah, we got we got quite a lot. And that should also deter this side as well. So, we're still feeling pretty, pretty good. 
Uh, everything's sort of moving along nicely. Nicely. But as you can see, the creep is getting thinner and thinner. We need a new emitter, and I'm going to save up my, my upgrades for either skimmers or a new emitter at this point. Um, so what do we see? What what instances of problems do we see? Well, you are an instance of a problem. You are an instance of a problem. Must go, always must go, are these earned units. You are an instance of a problem. And, ooh, look at that. We have the connection to the main path. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Let's get it flowing and get it going. Because, yeah, as you can see, we basically are now into the point where we're almost... Ooh, what are you doing? Get out of here! That's right, that's right, get out of there. No one likes an earned unit, sir. No one, no one, no one. Uh, or an earned cannon. Again, we do deal with earned units, unfortunately. Um, but an earned cannon, that's a, that's a no-go. We'll toss down two eggs right there. Boom, entire platform gone in two eggs. That's all we need to see. Uh, and it was far enough away that we didn't trigger that bad boy. Ooh, but wait, there's more. Uh, before this creep goes away, let's just see. Can we get it? Boom, we got him. Uh, and you know what? I think it's just two. Boom. Grab that one as well. And let the creep flow. Now, thankfully, the creep is flowing over the sprayer. So this sprayer, not really doing too much. Not really doing too much. We are making it towards the emitter. I didn't even realize we connected this pathway, which I feel real bad about because I don't like how thin it is. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna X mesh. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna X mesh. I'm sorry. This is, this is bad. Um, we will make a connection over here, and I think we'll do that now because I want this emitter sooner than later. But we're gonna, we're gonna include this, but we're gonna widen it, right? We, we definitely don't want these little halfway connection points. Uh, we want, we want the good stuff. We want a nice connection. That's right. Connect all the way across. Connect it all up. There we go. That's what we want to see. A nice connection point. Uh, it's a little thin on this side compared to the front, but you know, it, it starts, uh, starts big and, you know, thins out a little bit. Thins out a little bit. It happens. It happens. It's normal. It's normal. Let's just say. Um, ooh, we, we do have a breeding zone under their control, which I do not approve of. So let's make sure we take this out as well. And Blazinga, boom, all of those. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, how's this doing? Oh, look at this. We're, we're easily getting onto this land. Taking this out. Thankfully, there was an earned unit here. It's not there anymore. We destroyed it. Of course, of course, of course. Felt pretty good, if you ask me. And as you can see, this is just pushing in naturally. We don't have to do anything for it. This is pushing in naturally. They do have some AC breeding that literally just happened, and I would have stopped it if I wasn't just talking. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. We're moving our mesh in. We're gonna grab this emitter. I'll, I'll even do that. Boom. Give me my emitter sooner. What are you, emitter? You are... Every 0.4 seconds, a better, closer emitter. Done. Done. Get me all of the creep. All of that creep. There we go. So this is a 290. This is an 880. But this is also 20% better. 20% better just in that fact alone. So now the question is, where do we go from here? Right? Again, we're still following the path of destiny. Sorry, the Path of Destiny is immutable. Um, we have 18 rocks, which is good, because we do have a lot more earned units to snippy snipe. You know, for instance, we can even just put down a couple right now. We can say, you are going to go down. Uh, you, oh no, we might need two there. That's a shame. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. So we will destroy that for now, because we're, we're going to need to come back to that. Um, we will want to destroy these with eggs. We got an earned unit over here. We may need, like, three or four. I may wait for this to be destroyed. Actually, we could probably just do it with, like, one. One, two, three. Three from here, probably. We need some creep, but we can probably do that. Same thing with here is a problem. Uh, but again, do we want to just come up? Do we want to come over this little pathway? This is a nice little area, but it is in the center of everything. Uh, we do have some We have some choices. We can even just come straight for the top side. We'd have to go through that, though. I definitely don't want to do that. I, th I think coming straight through here is probably our best bet. So let's, let's do that. I mean, it's very thin. Uh, and we can be very girthy, so I like it. And um, we can even connect down here, too. We, we can actually make this entire corner a pathway, right? We can just do that entire thing, like... Uh, yeah, use a lot of eggs, uh, and that's fine, right? I'm gonna make my mesh growth really big. We're just gonna say, give me all of the mesh here, right? All of it. 
all of the connection points just go blam. And yeah, we'll even connect to over here. We'll even connect to over there. Don't care. Just mesh it up. Make this a super highway, right? From both sides, from the bottom, from the top. Mesh it over. Get it to the good side. And you can see, like, it's just flowing in there, right? I mean, we can even mesh up here. And this gets us friendos. Oh my gosh. Now we can use upgrades to get friendos. You know we're getting friendos. There is no way we are not. And look at this creep, right? It's just coming in. It's pouring. In. It's not a, it's not that thin. Uh, you know, I'll even let that thin connection survive. That's fine. Uh, I'll even let this thin connection survive as well, just to get some distraction to a degree. It's not as, it's not an important connection for us, but it's, it's there. It's there, right? We can now get Forb payout and counts. So boom, boom, get me that. Uh, this should also be reducing the timer. Uh, it doesn't actually say it, but normally you can reduce the timer to 20 seconds here as well. So definitely want to do that. So now we're going to get Forbes. We're going to get the timer down. We're going to get uh, our Forb count. I believe 15 is max. So we're going to have 15 friendos, which I'm a fan of. And look at this. As you can see, we are just utterly, utterly destroyed. Uh, get out of here, you two. Earned unit be gone. Uh, over here. want that just you know whatever whatever earned unit be gone you would have been stunned but now you were begone and that feels all the better we can just we can just march up here again this side is doing pretty solid the path of destiny is going uh this is holding which is a little bit of a shame uh, i was not expecting i figured the creep would win out here eventually uh and it kind of is it's just they have like just enough to keep it at bay. So I think we may need to devote some eggs. It is unfortunate. Um, well, first things first. Well, no, actually, it's 29 seconds. What am I saying? First things first. First things first is get our butt over here and let's just take this out because it's just it's just a drain on our supplies. Um, so we're going to drop them all, pop them all, make sure that breeds for us for one cycle. They may take it back. I don't care. As long as it breeds for one cycle, then it's ours, right? They're going to lose all of that generation, and it's breeding for more. This area becomes ours. We win. Huzzah. <laughs> right? Huzzah. Um, easy days. You can see we're pushing both up this way, both down this way. And what's hindering us the most? Of course it's planes. We all know what planes do. They do their thing. It's kind of gross. No one likes them. So let's just, let's just eliminate that threat next. Uh, and this one bombing wave should be able to do it. Come on. There we go. Planes be gone. So yeah, we're, uh, we're just moving along. The planes didn't all get destroyed, but, you know, we're in an okay spot. Um, it's interesting that they are able to hold the creep off by here. I think it's because strictly of this unit and the planes that were there. Um, but thankfully, now that the planes are gone, that should be uh, helping our cause on one side. And then, yeah, we should just be able to steamroll essentially the rest of this. This is, as you can see, gone as expected. Um, Skimmer Factory. Oh, I forgot. Uh, poor Bayo. Bazinga. Uh, we'll get them to 10. I think 10's pretty good. And, ooh, we got a new emitter. Ooh, a better emitter. Every 0.3 seconds. This is 40% stronger than the base emitter. And even when you consider it to the 0.4 emitter, it's actually 25% better. That is freaking huge. Uh, one of the only problems with it is we can't really surround it in mesh. We can surround this entire area in mesh, but we can't surround it itself in mesh. So it's a, a little bit of a nuisance, but I think I think we're doing a-okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're okay. Uh, we'll keep this going creep because we do have our 10 skimmers. 10 skimmers, look at the work that these skimmers do, right? They came out, this entire area skimmed, over here skimmed, earned unit, big on. That's right. Uh, any more earned units on this earned unit? You know, you know you gotta be gone. Thank you. Uh, um, oh, they're building a Bertha there. Oh, get out of here. No one likes you. Thankfully, our eggs are now so powerful, it only takes one egg to, uh, to eliminate a platform, which is very, very cool. Uh, I, one thing I do wish, and this is not a fault of mods or anything like that, it's just the way that the game is programmed, you cannot mesh into uh, resource terrain or, or breeder. 
So it would be amazing to just have a mesh just go like right here, but it would be so thin, right? We couldn't realistically do that. Um, so that's just one, again, it, it's not a problem with the, the mod or anything like that. I just believe the game does not allow that. Um, we have our big girthy mesh coming on straight on forward. And you know what? We need our path of destiny. I am sorry. Uh, let's get rid of their frickin' urn port. Let's get rid of this. And you know what? Actually, let's get rid of that. Holy moly. You know, we'll, we'll toss some of these in. You know, just, just get everything gone. And urn unit, begone. Even though you were gonna die, you had to be begone. That is the nature. Uh, urn unit. Oh my gosh, another urn unit. Begone! Oh, be gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I definitely like that. So the AC is pumping over here, but you know what? We're, we're doing pretty okay. We can take this with some eggs, uh, and you know what? Maybe we shall. Maybe we shall. Uh, right about now. Uh, so we'll just do boop, bop, beep. I put down way too many eggs there, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's drop a couple like that. That sh This should pop because of the other side, and that'll be fine, right? Bloop. Just do that. Take the two breeding zones, and with that, uh, it just doesn't breed for them for five seconds, which gets rid of a lot of AC, right? A lot of times, uh, it is just the AC breeding that keeps it, like, stable, so to speak, I want to say. Not, like, stable, but keeps everything at bay. So, just by taking their breeding cycle once or twice can be enough to take the area. Uh, because, again, we just took another breeding cycle. As you can see, we, we're pushing way further in. Uh, even through the, that, this is actually sort of staying on our side now, and the AC is basically diminished to nothing. So that's that's all it takes at times, and boom, look at that. We have taken this side. Huzzah! Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, and yeah, we're we're just making our way. Making our way. Uh, let's, you know, let's, let's just creep up just to match that might as well. Uh, four upgrades for our biggest, baddest, strongest emitter. Sounds good to me. Again, the skimmers are doing great. We might want a couple more skimmers. Uh, that is definitely a possibility. But we have so many eggs, so many rocks. I think my goal is going to be to start egging around here. Uh, quite a lot. Uh, we do have some earned unit begones, so we'll, we'll, let's grab two of those. That sounds pretty good. We'll grab two of those over here to begone those guys as well. And we'll, we'll just pop this, right? Ba-boom. My goal is to destroy this airship. If we can destroy this airship with eggs uh, right here. I am perfectly, perfectly fine. There we go. Airship begone. There we go. So with the airship gone, with the laser gone, with the earned units gone, this area should fall... I mean, I don't want to say easily. I mean, nothing is that easy. But it should fall relatively well. Uh, they are able to hold this still. Um, but we did get rid of most of the things. And their power is now... Ooh, earned unit. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Gone. And that will cut off the power over here. That's going down. Um, this area... I mean, we don't need to take it. In all fairness. But because their power is gone, I'm literally just going to drop one. I'm just going to drop one. And I'll, I'll drop one for the beacon as well. Um, just because I, I just want it gone. Um, we'll pop all eggs because I didn't even realize that that spore launcher was pooping out eggs. It makes sense. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I think we're just on the final push. And again, they have we have not, we have not finalized the path of destiny. So I'm going to stop all action up here because our path is supposed to be how we're getting in. So let's focus on the path for a little bit. Because if we don't, then I feel like we're just not doing justice to our initial goal. Um, I'm gonna do just do skimmers. Get them to like 20 now. Um, I don't actually. I don't even know. I don't even think they can stop us from the front. Oh no! I want. I want to be gone these units too, but I'm not gonna. We are gonna focus on this side. Get the skimmers up to 20, and I'm not gonna worry so much about uh, destroying these yet, because they are destroying the mesh, they are making it hard, but we weren't through. Although I think we're getting through now, and now that we're getting through, I think it's time to begone some units. Boom, 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 boom. Get rid of those, get the creep going in, and we'll even drop a couple of these just to start the breeding, right? Because it's breeding right now. That's what we wanted to see. I didn't want that AC coming out from that one sprayer, and then all of a sudden, boom, AC! Oh, 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 oh. Thank you! Uh, oh, we got a bagam. Uh, 
you know, you're gonna take two or three, but pick out. Uh, feels pretty good if you ask me. And ooh, we got one over here too. So boom, boom. Pick out. Thank you. All the earned, all the earned cannons. They gotta go. They gotta go. Um, and earn mortars. Oh my gosh, like we're in their base. I wanted to take this side first. No. Oh, jeez, that skimmer. Ooh, that's a lot of skimmers. <laughs> oh, the utter, utter destruction. The creep flows. And this is just, just good fun. I do, I do like this plan. Um, I am intrigued if it would be even possible to solely focus on the path of destiny and just creep. Nope, no skimmers. You know, you may free the skimmers because the path will push, but only do the path of destiny. Is that viable? Um, can you do it? Uh, and you may be able to. You may be able to. Uh, so you know what? Let's let's give that a go. I will check how we did. Um, this again. This is just gonna be for fun. It's gonna be times four speed. Uh, I'm just gonna try and blast through it. Um, but here we go. We did. You know, we did all right. Not the best, of course. Again, there. You can definitely can cheese things with eggs and such. I mean, again, just save up like 20 or 30 eggs. You probably go from the uh, emitter. That was the 0.3 right there. You can actually still see it in the screen. And you just egg on down here. Super fill this up. You would need enough eggs to take out this area, which had quite a bit of defense. Um, but you'd have a bunch of rocks as well. So you'd use your rocks first. Use your eggs just to lay down that creep. But let us restart and just see. Just going to go straight into it. Again, I don't know if this is possible. It may not finish. Just give it a go. Master, we found them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Times for speed. Let's go. We want all of this. Oh my gosh. And oh, mesh, of course. Mesh. Big, big, big. Big ol' mesh. And let's get it going. Now, we are going to use the Path of Destiny. Do we want to expand the Path of Destiny? Right? For instance, we can girthify the entire path if we wanted to. Right? We could drop an egg like here and here for instance uh, so i'm gonna toss it down at one time speed just for a second while i plan this because if we do big old range boom and just say get this or it actually spreads get a nice bigger corner connection that might actually help the path of destiny pretty substantially so for instance if we just keep this going right uh, pop you. I don't want to do all of this at this point. I just sort of want to girthify the uh, the actual path now. Oh no! Oh no! Let me get some creep in there. Oh no! I fail. I failed my girthification. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. But as you can see, now we have a much girthier path to start. To start. Now we do want to keep this path continuing to be girthy. So. What? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I, I said we're just going to do this four times speed, and now I'm like trying to make the Path of Destiny some sort of weird, girthy monster. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why. It's sort of an addiction uh, to try and make things different and better. Um, mesh, 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 mesh. Yeah, get that, get that connection. Um, but as you can see, we just have a better flow of creep. Um, so I don't care. I'm not even going to look up here. I'm sure this will get taken as this gets stronger and stronger. I mean, it's just sort of the nature of the beast that will happen. Um, because this one emitter will get so strong that, yes, everything will happen. But look at us. We are just flying down here. And I, I don't know if it is entirely because of it. But I think, in part, we are flying because of that extra girth that we have. Um, you know, it just allows more creep to flow faster. It does sort of thin it out a little bit, but it does allow that. Eh. Well, no, that should be the same height because it's lower level. I was like, oh no, it's 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 thinner. But it's not thinner. It's actually the same, height, um, which feels pretty good. Ooh, 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 problem zone. So the problem zone right here is this, which is now currently breeding. So we need to pop that as soon as possible. Yeah, breed for me, not for you. <clears throat> and again, breed for me. Not for you. I'm very bad with my times four speed timings. I will admit to that. And next on the hit list is, of course, this bad boy. Boom. Get out of here. No one likes you. And again, we are not going to care. As this, you can see, this is actually claiming as it should be. Oh, wow. Look at that. We are actually 
Do we care about these planes? We don't really care about the planes. I kind of... kind Wow, we got to these planes super fast. I feel like we did not get creep this far that fast before. So, I am going to put one egg here. I do want the planes kind of destroyed, because we might as well. I mean, we do have creep coming out of the side. Might as well just help it out that little bit. Um... Oh no, oh no, oh no, the big damage. The big damage is here. Get out of here, big damage. No one likes you. Um, and yeah, so we are not going to touch this mesh. We're not going to mesh out of this at all. Uh, this is our path of destiny. This is a, the path that the the lols gods have chosen. And we have... Uh, big on. Oh no, I said big on. Big on? Boom, big on. Thank you. That's what we want to see. And we have another Bagown. Uh, actually, let me make sure it's the right Bagown. Uh, beautiful Bagown. Uh, we are going to have a Bagown over there as well, which is fine. Um, we could just egg up this entire thing. I do want to save the eggs for a bit more of a, a tactical egging, so to speak. Uh, definitely don't want these coming, for sure. But when I say tactical, I mean, like, for here. Like, we're going to need two eggs for each of these, maybe three uh, then to keep them down, we need to keep all platforms down as well, because if, say, this platform comes back, that's going to hinder us. So we have to keep the path destiny, destined for glory, right? So they want to rebuild this. I don't want them to. Uh, we are getting close to our urn unit begone. Let's just drop it down. Begone it. Move on up. Get our butt going, because we got things to do. Uh, how is up here looking? We have taken the entire corner. And much like before, because this is the Path of Destiny, we are just going to take it from the back. Uh, this is as far as the mesh. I will not mesh up anything over here. But I figure this is still the back line. This is still the back row. So we can mesh this and have it flow into the mesh for the Path of Destiny. I think, I think that's allowed in our Destiny push. Uh, that is what we are calling this. This is the Destiny push. Uh, and as you can see, look at this. I mean... This is just winning, because this is just so strong. It's 520 already. Uh, two more, might as well. Get it going, because all we care about is Le Creep. Now, problematically so, we have one, two. I mean, I guess I'll destroy these because... Ooh, actually, do we just go, we just go big, right? Uh, we have plenty of eggs, so I do want to go a little big. I do definitely, definitely want the... Uh, the earned units though so by doing this we're going to cause a lot of confusion hopefully be able to get to these oh my gosh look at the damage this did though oh oh my gosh we didn't even kill the sides no okay there we go and earned unit one is dead earned unit two is dead that should get us this area beautiful 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 right now again watch it see the platform isn't even back but that dude's able to shoot don't like that don't like that but that's okay because the path of destiny cannot be stopped uh ooh, oh my you can't be stopped path of destiny no 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 uh one down two down buzzinga again just to keep us going i do want to unmesh this to be fair but i don't want to lose this to ac or anything and let them rebuild so once once we get out of here because this earned unit is definitely causing problems oh no i took my eyes off the prize for a second and look at that they rebuilt over here as to be expected because they are the derps um we are gonna re-egg to get it back unfortunately we have to re-egg to get it back and i think we may need to use some rocket tubes here uh, I think that's just sort of what we need to sort of hold this for a little bit. Uh, keep them, keep the path moving. Again, it's all about this path of destiny. So keep the path moving. Get our butt a flowing time. Oh, oh, get out of here. You shouldn't have enough energy to fight that off. You do. Get out of here. This platform on. That's fine. Keep those down. See, now we have to use our eggs in sort of a very big defensive measure. Now, thankfully, we turned off these planes, so this creep should come down, and we should be able to uh, sort of curtail this area, at least. Uh, that's going to be very important for us. Uh, keep that on our side. Just get out of here. Get out of here. And... Hmm, hmm. This is you doing okay? You're doing fine. Good, good, good. Uh, I think, I think, we just, no, not close enough, Durant, oh, we have 10 eggs, I only have 10 eggs, that is a problem, 
So that see, that's the thing. This path of destiny, it's it's hard. Right? Our destiny requires quite the fight. And we need this to start winning out. Uh, because again, I cannot waste my time my eggs, honestly. I can't waste the eggs down here. Right? That is one egg that is now no longer up here to take this. To hold these. And again, I wanted to rock this, but because this earned unit held everything back, we had a little bit of a delay and problem on our side. Uh, now thankfully this is start it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. I just I want an egg. I would love to do this, but this is the path of destiny challenge. Will destiny provide? Again, oh, geez, those two causing all the problems. Those platforms are the worst. We need an egg for them every single time, and it's not even the platforms. If it was the platforms, we'd be fine, because they need lift deck to build that. They're not going to build that that very fast. However, they're just building the cannons, right? Like, that cannon now exists. That cannon now exists. So every time we get two eggs, we basically are using them right away. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, we're doing it. There we go. Just, just earned. Earn unit, big gone. That is all I care about. Don't care about anything else. And that platform, be gone. Okay, so we use, we use a little bit of our rocks, we use a little bit of our eggs, but we gained a lot there. As you can see, this is moving around the edge. Taking this out entirely, that's huge for it with this breeder zone. So, I think... We're finally not going to have to worry about this very, very soon. Now, again, this area, we're going to have to worry about maybe forever. We might have to work, like, even here. Oh, get out of there. So done with these. Um, those, these platforms are the ones that we have to worry about, but we are going for the urn port next, which is going to be pretty huge if we can snag. <laughs> because, I mean, it's an urn port, right? Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned urn port on their side? So... How are we going to do this? I mean, we are going to use X. Surprise, surprise. Uh, that is how we will do it. Um, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Why are they not building the cannons first now? Interesting. They have to build the platform first now. That's actually huge for us, right? Because now we can just do that. Platform's gone before any of them are built. That feels real good. And that allows us to store up some eggs. Um, again, multiple upgrades. It's times for speed. Being very lackluster with that, uh, but our creep is still growing, and I think I think we need to essentially egg here in order to take out this earned uh, mortar. Uh, it is doing quite the uh, high volume of work, and get those down as well. So now we should be able to push up to the edge, uh, and with that, uh, yep, earned unit, be gone. That is right. Uh, be goning has occurred. Uh, grab that down, grab that down, grab them down, and I think next on the hit list will be this zone. I want the wall down first because I want the creep to be able to flow in. Oh, look at that. We finally, finally got this under our control. Huzzah! Happy days are definitely here again. But look at that. Oh, stop it. Uh, ooh, that, we're just going to get that urn port naturally. Yes! Oh, that is... Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Big wins for us because that urn port going down is honestly, it's energy. It's. Actually, I wasn't checking. Was it even on? Oh no, was it even on? If it wasn't on, that would mean the urn port did nothing. Um, Alright, units be gone. We need to grab just like that. Get out of here. That's what we want to see. Uh, of course, you always want your units to be gone. Guys. See, look at this. They, they come back so freaking fast. So freaking fast. Um, it's a problem. Oh no, we got... See, they're back down here too. Boom, 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 boom. One on every side. Make sure they die. Uh, we need this to come up here so we can actually hold this down. This one. Jeez. See, look at this. See? See? Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Because these platforms exist. These platforms exist. They're they're thinning out the creep. So our path of destiny is getting... It's getting, honestly, just pelted. Just getting pelted. Make sure you don't come back. Stop you from doing your thing. Uh, urn port. No one cares about the urn port. But now we have all of the AC. Range. So now we've we've really, really got a problem on our hands. Because we've started the AC production. And that is just going to be bad for business. Right? That's literally just going to be the worst thing for us. There's nothing that we can do to stop this one. We're not going out there to stop it. 
So, for now, we just have to make sure we can curtail this right here. Uh, you know what? Oh my gosh, stop the sides! Stop it on the freaking sides. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's just use a bunch of rocks. Try and hold this area for a freaking second. Thank you. And again, we need some rocks over here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay. Toss two down over there. And of course, back here is rebuilt again. Oh wow, they, they destroyed those eggs. I thought we would have enough uh, land that we'd be able to put one egg down and destroy them all. Unfortunately, we are not quite there yet. Wait, what happened to the eggs down here? Did they just destroy them all? And do I have 10 upgrades? Boop. There we go. Oh, that's not all 10. It's better. Uh, again, we only have eight eggs left. This is definitely not, not impossible to hold. It's just not easy to hold. Um, so we, we're actually at the mercy of this. And again, this is making progress, right? It is taking this over as we speak. It is coming in this way as we speak. Um, it actually made better progress up here than in our other one. Which is kind of weird to say. Because before it did not actually make it to that breeder zone. Um, we actually had to help it out. One there, one there. Hopefully one is enough. It is. Uh, oh, back here. One there, and... Oh, I didn't think I did too. Slight problem there, slight problem there. Buzzinga, buzzinga. Um, but this, this is going to be the saving grace. Because once this is here, this takes this out. This no longer is gonna get freaking power, right? Let's, let's just do a little bit of that. I'm just gonna do one there. I know it's not exactly on the path of destiny. I just wanted to get that M rift out of there, because um, it was just—it was just so frustrating. That M rift. That M rift was so. Really? Did that second one not pop? Come on! Come on! What is going on? This path of destiny definitely taking longer. Definitely taking longer than doing our little uh, shimmy route. So I was kind of hoping we would be down here at this point, but look at this. That. This is the problem now, right? We have, we have the problem. Uh, the AC is building up and we have to fight against it. Uh, and of course, we may have to do a little diversion to the path of destiny. Um, and it's just for a moment. <clears throat> it's a momentary path diversion, so to speak. Um, but we may have to connect to like this island, free this emitter, just so oh wait, the path of destiny can get friends. I do think we should get some friends in the back, right? So we should do something like this. Because it's right here, and they would flow into the path of destiny. I don't want to actually connect up to the other area. I think I think this is how we're gonna I'm just gonna do something like that. Like just connect up to the friends. So we'll get mesh up. Does that actually do four count? It does now. So let's just get that going. And we are gonna have the path of destiny mixed with friends. I think that is the goal. Uh, Buzzinga. Oh, I put that way too close there. There we go. So I think this is how we're going to do it. Now, unfortunately, we have no way to get creep other than the path of destiny to this island. So our path does have to win, right? Our path does actually have to actually win in order to eliminate the base. And now, that being said, we do have forbs. We do have skimmers. We do have everything. Now, are these coming out in 20 seconds, or not? That is the question. They're not. So interesting. So I wonder. This is, this is a test. If I turn this off. So, okay. So once it's connected to mesh, you cannot lower the interval. Interesting. So I have to actually lower the interval first. See, that's a test. I did not know that. So it does not lower the interval when it's connected to mesh. So I want to lower the interval to 20, then connect it to the mesh, then get all my 4B friends out, and then take out basically the rest of the map. So, oh, oh, big on. There we go. We got a big on. Feels pretty good. Our interval is going down. We have two more to do, which is very, very nice. Uh, as you can see, we are handling things now, though. Uh, these need actually need the platform to be built, which is huge. As long as they need the platform to be built, they're actually not that bad to do. And as you can see, this is a matter of 20 seconds, which is great. Um, and you can see all the work that they're doing. This is our friend over. Uh, it will no longer lower, so let's reconnect, and we may need Forbes again. 
So it's just the four payload. Perfect. So we do have the four count at max and the interval at max. Um, so we'll toss one there. We'll toss one here. Our creep is now starting to win the day. Take that out. And yeah, I think I think we've done pretty decent. We've actually pushed all the way in here, which is great for business, right? That is huge. And again, we're just gonna we're just gonna eliminate that, unfortunately. Uh, but thanks to the skimmers, thanks to everything else, we are making some progress. Now, we're at the wall. If we can get to the wall and take this out, we might be in a pretty good spot. So here come the skimmer waves. We have so many skimmers. Um, and we are just getting more, basically, right? Uh, and we're getting more forbs. Forbs will increase our creep. I mean, each of those, though, each of those is 90, right? And we have 15 guys pooping those out, apparently into the void. But you know what? They're, they're walking the path. They're the Pathwalkers. That is... Oh my gosh, they're the Pathwalkers. That is their new name. They are ones who walk the path of destiny. Oh my gosh. It's official. It's official. We have Pathwalkers. I love it. I, I actually do love that. Uh, that they have an official new title. Um, did we... Okay, we did get this. I think it's time to do a big ol' big ol' uh, creepy bombing over here because we want this right this is this is an area that we definitely need uh, i'll toss one there one here one here of course want to keep these down and oh we're at 31 seconds never mind we're gonna wait until the next breeding cycle unfortunate unfortunate but that's okay that's okay we'll, we'll get there we'll get there uh, next breeding cycle and i think we do want to take the time and get rid oh jeez it goes so fast next breeding cycle now um and I think we are going to do a plane destruction run because this is going to just eat at the path. And again, every time I'm talking and doing X and doing Y and doing Z and not paying attention to the fact that it is now the breeding cycle. Perfect. Now it is the breeding cycle. And look at how much is getting all of the good stuff, right? Buzzing and our four count is going up. Uh, and you know uh, no. I'm not going to mesh out. Wait, that's not the goal. I wanted to let the friendos in here just so they could throw some stuff out. Uh, the path walkers, I should say. Uh, let's grab you. Let's big on you. Uh, and let us, again, work on these plans, right? Because they're they're really going to hamper us, right? It's, there's nothing, no two ways about it. They are going to hurt. So this is uh, a little bit, but when you think about it, it's really, really part of our, our path plan. Right? Our path plan was to get up here, and by getting up here, we clearly would want to take out their plants. So I think it's actually perfect. Big on, by the way. Big on. Got it. Got it. Uh, and yeah, we'll do some of this. We'll do some of this. Keep it away from the shield, of course. Keep it away from the shield. Uh, and here we go. We're going to do quite a bit over here, and most importantly, over here. Grab all of that. Grab all of that. Uh, and then we can do just a wee little bit there. And just see how that goes. Now, unfortunately, the planes will still be active for a little while. Um, I do want to destroy the planes if possible versus just the runway. And I think we got most of them. There's three left. I'm happy with how that went. Right? 31 seconds. I think we I think we can take that over. Buzzing. Take it out. Move our path of destiny forward because this is the way of destiny. Oh, my gosh, be gone. That's right, be gone. Um, yeah, we're feeling pretty good. We're feeling pretty good. It is, I mean, again, it's taken quite a lot of time. We have a lot of friendos doing their friendo things. Um, and we could be increasing our creep production more. And that maybe that helped. But again, every time we do this, the friendos throw out more orbs. Which, actually, I, I kind of like. I kind of like that thought. So we are actually helping with increasing creep by increasing the payload over here. Uh, but we just need we just need more creep down here, and that's the problem. The path, the thin path. Look at the creep that's on the map, right? It is monstrous back here. We have just no way of getting it down here other than our thin path of destiny. And see how like minuscule it gets when it gets down here. It's it's oh my gosh, it feels so bad. It feels so bad. We have 23 eggs and 35 rocks. Can we hold this with that? Let's see. So let's take out a big ol' force. Do a big ol' one of these. That's it, good. Get the creep on here. Get the mesh going. And then we're gonna do another set of rocketudes, right? Let's, uh... 
do something like this. I, I want that urn. Yes, get the earned one gone, please, as well. Smash all the way to the edge. Please. Please. And then we're going to keep some creep in here. Okay. Get in the way we have some mesh on the opposite side. Or not some mesh, some... Just some blow, I guess. We're ready to get... Oh, there we go. We are through. Okay, so we are in their base, which is exactly where we want to be. As you can see, we've also taken their breeder here, which should help substantially. So is there a breeder in here? There is. The back wall is a breeder. Hmm. I don't like that at all. Uh, for that. For us, that'd be great. We have 21 eggs. I think I'm going to wait a little bit more. Um, again, let's just, let's just keep the, keep the skimmers coming. Okay, I kind of like it. Every 20 seconds, 40 skimmers. That's, that's quite substantial, if you ask me. Uh, want to get this going. Don't want the ASC to spread, of course. Uh, and we do have, we do have some areas, right? This corner is going to be a problem. 21 rocks. There's an earned unit in there. There's a lot of things. I want to save my eggs a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, earned unit. I got it. Uh, if we can use one for Bagani, you got it. I think that is law. I think that is law. Um, let us, with all of this sort of, uh, let's just do a big old, just push in, try and get the, oh my gosh, they're going into a deficit, and we have access to all of this. What am I thinking? Boom. What was I thinking? They're going into a deficit. They're at 31 generation now. That's what we want to see. Holy moly, no more factory. Yeah, that was all we needed, I think. I, I, I think with their deficit being so ginormous, we can bag on a couple of these, get rid of them, get rid of those, get rid of those. Ooh, there we have it. And there it is. The path of destiny. Now we did divert a tiny bit to get our friends of destiny, the path walkers. They are the path walkers, and I fully will forever support my path walking friends. Um, look at that, they're up to 200 creep for each of their little orbs. Which is actually pretty substantial when you think about it, right? That's 600 creep that that just deposited. And they're all just depositing. Boom. 600 creep. 600 creep. 600 creep. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And there's 15 of them doing it. Uh, I am just watching this at this point because, hey, why not? I enjoy it. And I hope you do as well. This has been LPAC Threads, the path walking experience. Um, uh, everything is going down. All right. Let's, uh, let's just sort of help it out. There we go. Pop all them eggs. Blam out. And away it all goes. There we go. The pathwalking experience. I hope you enjoyed. It's not necessarily a cheese. I am sorry for, for that. But it is it is definitely something different. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you next time. And have a wonderful day. Take care.